Alrighty, Coach. Well, start of another season. Uh, kind of your thoughts going into the first weekend and what you're expecting to see? I think we've had a good training camp. Um, our, we're probably as deep as a group as we've ever had, especially our blue line. Um, you know, even up front, we're, we're going to have players that probably deserve to play that won't be able to play. Um, I, I do think we've defended in camp much better than, um, than we have in previous years. But we haven't generated as much offense in our scrimmages as I've hoped. And I think part of that is our puck management. You know, we just, we, we're turning too many pucks over. Um, you know, and I, I mentioned to the guys yesterday that we're playing an opponent that's already played a game. So when the game starts, we can either be the hunters and we can put pucks in areas and, and forecheck and reload and get above pucks and try to generate some offense. Or we can, uh, if we turn pucks over, we're, we're going to be in a situation where we're going to be defending and blocking shots and playing in our own end. And, you know, I do think, you know, that first period, it, because they've played and we haven't, it's going to be important that we, that we do put pucks in deep. And I don't care how they get in. I don't, they don't have to be dumped in there. They can be skated in there. They can be passed in there. Um, they can be placed in there. But y you, you find your legs in a hockey game much, e much more easier if you're on the offensive side of the red line versus on the defensive side of the red line. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, going from Olympic ice to back to regular ice. How has that <coughs> helped or hurt your team? Because obviously you were recruiting one way, and now you got to change to a different way. Yep, um, I think it's going to help. You know, I, I, when I at first when I got to Northern, we were recruiting to our rink. So, you know, and our home record was very, very good. I mean, I think we were, you know, the first couple of years, we were seven, eight hundred percent winning percentage at home. Um, we weren't anywhere near that on the road because we, we'd have a team of guys recruited to play an Olympic sheet and you'd get into a, um, a CCHA, which is a, it's, our league's a hard league anyway, into a CCHA battle against bigger, stronger opponents in a, in a tighter environment. Um, you know, we, we ended up changing our recruiting style a little bit to recruit to our league more than to our, um, to our rank. And, you know, I think that shows and our, our road record has been, been very good. Our, our home record has not been, you know, anywhere near where it needs to be. So now with the ice coming in a little bit, I think we're, we're able to recruit to our rink and our league at the same time, um, which, which I think will pay, you know, big dividends for us. What are your thoughts on preseason polls? Obviously, you guys are pretty high as we go into the season. you got to play the games on the ice, but people hunting you now or are you guys still doing the hunting well I, I mean I think you know the team that is, you know is at the top is you know an hour and a half you know to our east or to our west so um, you know that's the team that everybody's hunting um, what do they mean I, I think it you know I do think it's probably a starting point for you know where people end up top half versus bottom half of the league um, but within that top half and that bottom half, you know, there's going to be, I think there's going to be some movement, you know, and, um, you know, hopefully, you know, we're able to move in the right direction in, in, in that sense. But, um, you know, they, they matter, but, um, you know, you got to play the, you got, you got to play the games on the ice. You said it. 